Hey, it's Lorianne, and joining me on the phone this afternoon is Danko Jones. Thanks for being here, Danko. Great. You just uh, released a new album a little bit ago, A Rock Supreme. Yeah, it came out two weeks ago, so we're, we're all excited about it. Uh, great feedback from everybody, so it's good. It's going great. Is there a story behind the title, A Rock Supreme? Oh, it's just um, a play on uh, John Coltrane's I Love Supreme. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, I knew there had to be yeah. something to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 11 songs in 40 minutes. That's what I personally love about just Danko Jones in general. You're like kind of like a Band-Aid. You just want to rip our heads off with rock and roll, and you'll do it quick. Yeah, well, I mean, that's how long most records were before, you know, the advent of CDs. It was trying to get uh, an album on one half of a 90-minute cassette. So it had to be 45 minutes. So you decided to stick to that model. Gotcha. So I understand that a brand new album means like 11 brand new babies. So you love all the songs equally. I'm not saying, but is there any songs in particular off the new album that you're stoked to play live? Well, we've been playing uh, four, what is it? Three songs since late uh, 2018 when we were on tour at the end of the year. And then we added a fourth song in February when we were on tour with uh, Nashville P in, in the States. Uh, and we've since added a fifth song off the new album to play live. I'm in a band. So right now when we, when we play that song, it's very exciting. So that's the, that's the newest one. So that's the one that you're particularly stoked about. I'm in a band. That's cool. I like that title. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's the lead off track to the album. So you do have a big show coming up at the Music Hall. It's a week tonight, next Thursday, May 16th. What can we expect from this Danko Jones show? I, I mean, we're going to play the songs. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's quite hard to describe a live show. But, you know, we it's kept us on the road for all these years, so... We must be doing something right. Yeah, definitely. I did see the funniest comment. I laughed out loud, literally. Um, it was on your video for the song Dance, Dance, Dance <laughs> on YouTube. So I was reading the comments just uh -oh. to... No, it was, it was a really funny comment. It said, I can't believe Kylie Jenner is a household name, but Danko Jones isn't. Oh, well, that's nice. I, I thought it was really nice. I thought it was really cool. I mean, Kylie Jenner is you know, one of the biggest names in the entire world. Do you, like, do you feel that underrated or is it something that's not really on your radar, like where you are in terms of household names? Well, I, 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 I kind of know who Kylie Jenner is, but I'm not really <laughs> quite sure what she does. So I live in a, I think I live in an opposite world. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you feel, uh, yeah, of course we kind of feel that way sometimes, mm -hmm. but uh you know, I we we've been lucky enough to you know play on you know over forty countries and six continents all these years. So some some places maybe we get overlooked and other places we don't. So yeah, and that's okay. I'd I'd rather be in this position anyway. Well, my opinion is it's way more rock and roll to be in your position anyway. So you're doing good. It's all good. Can we please talk about something that I think this is the best thing I've ever learned about a rock star that is not about music, but your Regal Beagle podcast? Oh, OK. Sure. Is, is that OK? I well, I, I just want I, I Three's Company. You're a huge fan. It's so random, I thought. I thought it was like a really cool because I, I'm a lover of the show. It came out, um, you know, oh, just okay. after I was born. And, you know, m we might have the same things in common. We might not. But uh, favorite landlord, Roper or Furley? Furley. Oh, yes. I thought for sure you were going to say Roper. Okay. Uh, favorite roommate, but not out of the three, but out of the three revolving ones. Chrissy, Cindy, Terry. Terry. Really? Oh my gosh, that's surprising. Okay, favorite overall character? Uh, well, aside from Jack. Sure. Or it could be Jack. You can say Jack. I mean, Jack is the central character of the series. Yes. So I but think everybody who's a Three's Company fan became a fan because of Jack. Fair enough. But outside of Jack uh, Tripper, I would say Ralph Burley is my favorite character. 
He was so he was just so adorable. <laughs> and do you he's have actually, he actually might be my favorite character in the series. Yeah, I think that's fair. I, I get what you're saying about Jack. Obviously, he's like the central figure, but you know, there's some people that can steal the show, and if anyone can steal the show, I think it's Ralph Furley for sure. Yeah. Um so with this podcast, you are going through every single episode of every single season one at a time. Yeah, I've been doing it for two years, and in order to go through every single episode uh, weekly, it, it's going to take five years. We're finishing year two now. Yes, we are. Yeah, you're on season five. All right, that's so. What's um the guest hosts that you have with you? Are they Three's Company enthusiasts, or are they like Danko? What am I coming here to do, and how are we going to get through this together? Well, have you heard the podcast? I have not, because I just found out about it this morning, and I thought it was the wildest thing. Okay, well, I usually do it with my cousin Cameron, who's uh, never seen the show, so he's <laughs> watching it with me for the first time. He doesn't really like the show. Oh. And genuinely gets really tired of doing it with me, so when he gets <laughs> tired, I, I bring in guests. So we've had guests from as wide as, you know, Derek Green from Sepultura, Scott Reeder from Caius, uh, Ace Von Johnson from Faster Pussycat. Uh, we just had Murray Lightburn from The Deers. Oh, my uh, gosh. Blaine Cartwright from uh, Nashville Pussy. Uh So, yeah, it's... uh, So I was just going to offer my services, but I'm not nearly on the caliber of those people. Oh, well, you never know. You never know. Uh, Shirley Taggart has been on it as well. Oh, my gosh. It's just, I thought it was the most random but delightful uh, thing. Do you have a favorite episode? Not of the podcast, but of the show? Yeah, all of them. All of them. Yeah, fair enough, Danko, fair enough. Well, I just needed to touch on that because I think it's just one of those things that people could uh, relate to and appreciate on a different level. We all know that, you know, you get on stage and you just rock your socks off, but then off stage you're talking about Three's Company and I thought it was uh, a fantastic uh, little side element to to you as a person. So I appreciate you uh, talking about it for a little bit. (laughs) Oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, it's the only other thing in the world that I I know anything about. So I thought I'd make a podcast about it. (laughs) Because that's what we do these days, right? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for chatting. And we can't wait to see you at the Music Hall this coming Thursday, a week today, May 16th. And uh, we'll, we'll check you out then. Okay, great. We uh, look forward to the show. Can't wait to play. Look forward to the show.